Well, good morning, my YouTube friends. It's Margaret here from Orchid and Garden in England, and uh, I'm just showing the catacetums as they're going into dormancy. Um, this is the uh, catacetum orchid glade Davy Ranches, and this is you can definitely see. And we have that flower spike developing there. I've had to put a piece of cork bark just there to lift this up and um, so eventually this will completely go into dormancy and I've just noticed uh, that this little bulb here, here, is wobbly. So I'm going to leave that as it is at the moment but when it's gone into dormancy I'm just going to have a little scratch around there to see if, if it's got any other root because that's the way um, you can actually set off a new plant because it had a little tiny uh, starter bulb then it had this one then I grew that last year and then I've grown this big one this year. Uh, this is the other um, and you wouldn't think, well, this, this doesn't look for one minute as though this is going into any kind of dormancy. Uh, but it is, I've already lost one leaf from here. You have to be careful because these are very sharp. These. I usually take them off. And if you'll see this new growth, there's a little leaf there. And of course there's the there is the flower spike developing and um, this is Catacetum pileatum yellow giant and I've had this since 2019 now this is the one that I um, mentioned that I, you know it could be for trade so this is now um, been traded and uh, it'll be going to a new home so I'm thrilled to bits with that. Now this one, just bear with me a minute, um, these have been watered and these won't get watered again. Now these were watered several weeks ago. That's why when that new one came, that Fred Clark Aura um, from um, Spice Otic, um, and it was in that wet media, that's, you know, I, was, I wasn't pleased at all. So this, this is a mature plant and um, this won't get watered, well it's, it's not been watered all September now and it won't need watering when it leaves uh, to go to a new environment, it won't need watering and eventually all these leaves will fall but I'm not sure whether this one, if I remember right, it doesn't have a, um, a terrifically long um, dormancy and this is the other one this is the um, the other part of that one so they, they split into two and um, you can see where here you see where leaves have already fallen this is just started to dry out here and uh, likewise um, you can see here. Um, I won't I won't be doing any more watering with this one because the bloom, if you like, the flower spike has started. There. Let me see. And um, and then it'll go into it'll go into dormancy because there's one thing I don't want to do is to actually um, rot anything. Because the roots are good and once it's flowered and it goes into dormancy, um, if it does want to just have a month, six or eight weeks dormancy, then it's still got a good root system. And these are, you see my little grow right here, the wand, I've got the other part over there. So these are where the other two. I tucked away. There. 
See, they still get. It's just going a little fraction. That's the Fred Clark aura. So they're still getting some sunlight. Of course, they've not been watered. And there's the little growth there. Now, this one could well, this is the Millennium um, Magic Witchcraft, uh, this one may not develop. Um, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it won't go any further, so I'm not watering that one, um, I've still got one with a green root, um, growing tip, so, and that back bulb looks as though it's starting to actually desiccate just a, a little bit, but, you know, they've got to get through our winter now. I mean, these on the windowsill, once they've uh, finished flowering, um, their dormancy will last right through till, um, March, March, something like that. Anyway, so um, of course that's Walkeriana, bathed in sunshine, and that's of course um, Percivilliana winter. That's developing some nice spikes, and when the gods here. We've got uh, pastoral innocence. That'll get watered today. Uh, so with some of these phalaenopsis, um, I've got to check Caesis lemingi. I am back in the wrong light now, aren't I? And of course, this is um, but um, I'll see Bowman's or Palm. That's how you both. Sorry about that. gets moved around as I bring them down for watering and then of course we've got Lelia and Seps there's that new growth coming out there and the new, gro new growth coming out there and this is right by the window right by um, that um, Tolumnia peach so just a short video today and I'll go and uh, fill up my watering containers and then I'll do some watering. So from me to you, take care. Bye bye now.